It's a very bizarre fact. It's about great. the Kim Stewart Benicio thing. It's fantastic. It's always a weird thing to me to when I think about it. Like I it makes my brain like glitch. Weirder than Tom Green and Drew Barrymore at one point being married? Weirder than me being at that wedding? Weirder than Weirder you than singing Axel Rose karaoke at that wedding? You, you, you were doing a sort of a weird snake like Axel Rose move. Now wait a minute, let me sit down because now we let's talk about weird. Wait a minute, let's define it weird. Just got weirder. Yeah. So you were at the wedding of Drew Barrymore and Tom Green, and then they had karaoke, and you thought, you know what <laughs> would be best? You if, know what I thought? If you put Sweet Child of Mine on and let me do my snake move. First of all, I killed it. Okay. Second of all, Courtney Love and Jared Leto had been up just prior oh, and were can't. so bad okay. that they were like bumming people out. So Boo. I kind of like had to like... let Jonathan's got it. I got this. I swear to fucking God. Because it was just Courtney was... Love by herself. And she was being so, she was so self-conscious and affected. She started singing like a Zeppelin tune or something. Got like halfway oh, through the first no. verse and then started like, baby, cuss, baby, no, baby. just cussing like, and like, just not doing uh, good. Okay. So then Jared, I think out of the kindness of his heart, gentlemen, chose to like gentlemen. come out and try to help her along because this it was pre so, 30 like, seconds to Mars. This is like, wow. In the, no, this is, this is like wow. first album. First album, okay. <laughs> and then wow. just to come up and help her because she was making it so awkward because she had also been like heckling Tom's family who were coming up and giving speeches like beforehand. Like a simple Canadian family. Like, like giving like boring like, ass speeches and like Courtney Love was like yelling at them like, get on with it. Go like, back to Canada. I'm not kidding you. Sweet. Can't believe I'm outing all these people. Right Sweet. Now. <laughs> so then like Tom Green's Jared like, comes Sweet up mother. to try to like, who's with Cameron Diaz at this point, which keep is why. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. <laughs> this is why, why he's stop there. Me? Okay. Is because Cameron is homies with Drew. Where's Lucy? So, who's Lucy with? She's there. I don't know who she's with. All right. Um, agent, probably. All right. Publicist. <laughs> so, okay. Jared comes up, tries to help her, but he's not making much headway of it either, in part because they don't know the words and they can't see the screen. I'm not saying that they were like bad singers you or whatever. You are. They okay. are. And they were, and I am, but whatever. <laughs> so I'm like... Put my, you know squeeze, what? I, I put my hand on Justine's leg and I'm like, I'm, I'm going to fix this. I'm going <laughs> to fix this, baby. Thank you. I love you. Let me take care of this. Knees. Yeah. Knees. Tom Green's mother is just like. <laughs> snake danced. Snake danced like because you had to. Sweet child. I fucking, I murdered it. Killed it. I fucking, I murdered it, it before. Surprise I'll murder it again fuck, at some point in my life. Of course you How'd you not get like a fucking deal? Why, like, like <laughs> publishing, like Diana Warren there. Somebody, somebody signed me. Rick Rubin here? Sign me. And that's the rest of his history. My four album deal with Arista. Yeah. I don't know if people know about Tom Green's hip hop producing capabilities, but I will say I was um Boy can make some beats. He had a little studio set up. No, he, he can't. <laughs> no, he can't. He absolutely can't. He absolutely had a one hundred percent cannot make beats, but thank you. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> 